Hey, what is going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join me down the linear complex and I'm with my, one of my best friends T and we're fishing I was going to say B2 then, <laughs> we're fishing Oxleys. I'm actually in the disabled peg Ooh. we're actually in the disabled peg and um, we've already seen a few fish in the, in the bay to our left. So this particular peg, you've actually got your own little personal bay. It's arguably one of the best pegs on the lake if, if, if you like but I'm really buzzing we've got sort of 48 I've got the flexibility to do an, an additional day if needs be as well but T's with me at least the next 48 and we cannot wait to get our teeth in to it I really do hope I really do hope we actually get some proper nosses on the bank over the duration in the next couple of days um, we've got bad weather coming in mate haven't we as well yeah, rain great, wind it's not looking great but from a fishing point of view um, and the fish dropping down and then start feeding on the bottom that would be absolutely fantastic because at the moment from what I can see over there there's a lot of fish sort of um, in that mid water but anyway I'm going to shut up now because I'm going to let T get his rod out because he's giving me a funny look behind the, behind the camera there and um, just before we start this video guys give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and hopefully just hopefully we can bring you an absolute banger I'll see you in a bit Wow, that is the rods out. It's taken us about an hour, but they're finally out, and um, the rain has decided to come in. Obviously, we knew this was going to happen. We actually got away with it, didn't we, for about an hour? And um, it's sort of come an hour late, but it's here now. Um, the bailiffs are actually doing some work over in the corner. Excuse me. So I do think that's going to maybe hinder the chances of a bite, but only for a couple of hours. And obviously, the fish move back in. They're just uh, cutting off the. We're going to say um, there's some line over there and debris in the in the in the trees themselves. So we sort of pulling them out with a with a with a crook. So we're going to sit back now though, and hopefully, just hopefully, the rods rip off. And um, I'll definitely, definitely be keeping you posted. And stay tuned because it's just going to be hopefully going to be an absolute banging video. And like I said, we get some fish. There's some foodie bits as well. I've got loads of foods with me. Um, obviously, I'm going to hopefully touch on bait and rigs as well, potentially as well. But obviously, I'll touch on that later on in the video and um, sort of depending on how we get on. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you in a bit, guys. And fingers crossed, the next time you see me, um, I've got a fish in the sling. I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, this is my sort of go to mix. So, what I've done is there, I've got some. 10 mils in the OG fish and the OG fruit and nut and soaked them in the OG fruit and nut sauce and they've probably been in that for about five days. So the baits have gone a lot harder but they've taken on all of that um, liquid food which is absolutely beautiful and they look lovely there. Maize, bit of hemp underneath and then obviously finished off with the magic dust but I've obviously just thrown it in the moment to show you guys what's going on. So I'm going to mix this up thoroughly and then this is going to be fished. There's like um, some reeds across the back there and obviously I can use the tree line this evening but we're going to have fish, obviously it's all, there's rods all over the show at the moment so we'll be fishing three rods each but we're both, me and T are going to fish the same spot so that obviously cork handles are mine so I'm going to pull that rod over, He's going to, I'm going to fish the end of the reeds, he's going to fish the other end of the reeds so we're not that far apart but then hopefully the fish sort of move off both spots. I'm also going to be finishing it off with the new flat spot. Now this stuff is like hemp oil on steroids. It's got good vitamin levels in it and omega as well. And um, yeah, it obviously gives off a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flat spot. And again, I try and get some footage of that. But this is a new product and um, it's already been doing fish up and down the country. You can add it to your particle, um, soak your boilies in it. It's also PVA friendly, so you can inject your bags with it, soak your pellets in it. You, like I said, there's so many numerous different things or so many different things you can um, do with it. But it's an absolute fantastic product so i'm going to put some of that in there in a second and then like i say give it a good mix get this out there so there it is and it's been finished off with the sauces and this is the og fish i've just put probably half a bottle in there but look at that come on
Right, me and Tia are sitting here now, right, and you got a peg. Directly in front of us there, right. And there's another guy. Right in the corner over here. Look where his spawns lands. Are you kidding me? Look. <laughs> it's right in the corner. <gasps> and there's that guy's peg. <laughs> Jeez. What was the matter with some people? <sighs> in heaven right now. Garibaldi's. With a view, look at that, absolutely beautiful. The rain stopped now, and there's a lovely gentle wind across the top of the water. And there's the island there as well. See, so if you're in this swim, it's an easy chuck, but I think the other ones, it's called Long Chuck, I think. It's a slightly, it's quite a nice range as well, it's got to be 100 yards. Doesn't look all that, the setup. <laughs> Rod's going everywhere, but we're ready. I'm ready for action. I've just done my left hand rod, pinged it down here, and it went out lovely, um, which was 13 and a half wraps on sort of just off a gravel bar, a gravel polished spot. I didn't want to put it straight on top of it, so I've sort of put it just off it. And then T's fishing the similar sort of range. Um, was it just over 14 wraps or something? Yeah, 14.10. 14, 10. And it's just sort of where my finger is now. So that is the update for now. Come on the carp. So I'm pretty much set for the night. The two rods that we put out we're going to keep fishing off the end of the reeds. These two rods, there's a big tree over the back there, you can see it in the, the distance and obviously I'm fishing, fish while well, fishing two rods on that at 10 wraps-ish. Two left rods, I mentioned earlier, I'm here, T's over here, I just hope, I just hope you get a bite soon. Pigs. You're in, you're in, you're in, you're in. It's it, it's it. Come on, come on, boy. Fish on. Go on, brother. First one, guys, it's just gone two o'clock. We've just rechucked and um, look what's happened. Come on, the fruit and nut. Yes. Gutted, mate. Stick fish. I wonder if that, we've been, we've hooked into a snag a couple of times now and I reckon that is what it is. Let me turn that torch on, yeah. Oh, mate, gutted, gutted. That was definitely on as well, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> Whereabouts am I? There, yeah? Remember, go far as forward as you can, so you don't get hit your rock. No good.
Oh, that's the one. Get a drop. Well, you're looking at an exhausted Ben, absolutely knackered myself and Tia. So we've been up all through the night, sort of working the swim and no fish to show for it. I don't know what is going on this year for me and T, but honestly, it is the worst winter I've had in probably 10 years. It's gotta be T, in it? This winter, it, we, we've had, it's just been shockers all round, really. Um, no real nosser pigs on the bank. Normally by this point, there's a few behind our belt, and it's just been a really diabolical, not, not for everyone, just for me and T, I think. <laughs> it really has just been really hard, but excuses aside, um, I've just prepped a rod, my left hand rod. It's about nine o'clock now, half past nine. I just went round and dropped it with the pole and I'm right up against the island now. Well, sorry, right up against the bank now over there. If a foot, and I've just literally sprinkled a few pellets over the top of it and a few crumbed up OG fruit and that as well. So, that is a bite if, in my eyes. If the fish move in there like they did yesterday in the day, out in front of us haven't really seen much and i know the people around the banks obviously the guy to the left there's two three four people in front of us and i don't think any of them have had anything throughout the night from what we've seen because like i said we are up most of the night lights on working the swim doing what we could topping up with bait watching for fish casting to show and fish me and t done as well and it just didn't happen and it's like i said it's a bit i don't use the word but it's a bit depressing it really is it's you sit and you think what are we doing wrong we're trying we're putting the time in but it ain't happening and yeah frustrating wind is slightly different today and hopefully that doesn't pull in the opposite way you're sort of trickling down sort of away from us yesterday it was sort of coming across so hmm. we shall see we shall see hopefully they sit on the back of the wind and when that sun comes up later on in the day i can play about with zigs get the fish feeding in that bay and hopefully grab a few nosser pigs but for now it's coffee time and um, yeah, yeah, I guess you lock onto the water like we have been the last 24 hours. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. But hey, wow, well, I'm walking around now just to try and show you the spot that I'm fishing without spooking anything and well, to see if there's any fish in this room. But we've been a bit naughty. So we've just ordered a takeaway. <laughs> the dart's going well, Ben. That's the last few vlogs you probably said, oh, yeah, yeah. Sort of say I'm watching my weight and all this chicken and rice, blah 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 blah. Anyway, I've just ordered an absolute rhinoceros pizza, so um, <laughs> I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy that. I'll keep it in the loop and I'll show you what it looks like. This is a local delivery company, and apparently, they deliver straight to the swim. We have had it before on B1 and it was absolutely banging, so <laughs> me and T being naughty but enjoying the time on the social together because it's been a while. But what I'm gonna do is now. Um, is try and flip you around. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch anything. And stupidly, this session I I've, I've didn't bring my Polaroids, which I'm at. that was a stupid rookie mistake. That was it, really was. Because I'm here now and I just can't penetrate the water as well as I can with them on. So I'm going to have a look over there now. And uh, if I can get any footage, I will. If not, I'll keep you posted on the way back. Yeah, just as I thought, I can't penetrate the water. Normally, you can put sort of the shade over the top of the the lens there and uh, cut through but it's just not going to cut it but I'm going to have a look myself because I can see with sort of my naked eyes even though hang on my glasses sort of um, see if I can see any fish but my bait is just a little bit further right there's like a stump that comes out and it's literally three inches off it and I can see it because I've got my baits around it and I've got this wafter sat in the middle of it with these two little fake maggots on the top and it's absolutely beautiful and that's a bite if the fish move in so I'm just gonna have a little little look now before the pizza turns up and that there is where we are just over there looks mega come on the carp so this is the peg, sort of like a little point swim out towards the island, but you can't actually fish the island because you're restricted to around 10 wraps, I think it is. So that's where we are, otherwise they'd be cutting us off. So we can actually fish all this water, but the person, there's obviously nobody in this swim, there was last night. Um, to be fair, they were just casting in front, but we're sort of fishing out, well, we're fishing out here where them ducks are-ish. Matey's next door's had one to us apparently and has done a few 30s down the other end of the lake but then the wind is whacking down there so 
I'm guessing that's sort of inevitable it's going to happen but I'm happy we're in this swim hopefully tonight they store later on today they sort of, sort of move down hopefully when I take my first slice of pizza they're uh, <laughs> get a screamer but yeah that's the update for now guys and like I said I'm just trying to sort of take you on my journey keep you in the loop look at this muddy as hell they were near as bad as B2 the other week. That was crazy. And if you haven't seen that video, guys, definitely, definitely go over to the channel. Some proper nosses in that video. 38 pounder as well. Loads of 20s. I think Nick done 25 fish over over 20 pound, which is a madness. But yeah, some rodders just down there. Come on the carp. Cars, toilet, swim. Look at that absolutely amazing what a swim this is um, about two three weeks back we were on St John's and it was an absolute mission but to have your cars there toilet facilities again ready for for, for disabled people as well which I think is absolutely fantastic and then bomb there you go you're in your swim look at that Teesprung is um, marquee with him look it's got the extension on and it's absolutely massive this thing it's brilliant we've probably seen it in the burners video a few months back but that the first time we used it and for two people you've got ample room yeah like i said four rods there like i mentioned to you yesterday and you've seen and two over there and there he is mr mr 30 pounder himself Hanky panky chocolate pies, he's called. We've had them before. I'll show you them later on. That's definitely mine. <laughs> Tuna. Pretty much everything put on it. What did you get, mate? A meat one? Yeah, man. Nice. Put that down. T's going to get his rod out now. Just there. Happy days. Pizza time. So there it is, the beautiful, sexy, hangy, hangy chocolate pie. Look at that thing, mate. That's a heart attack in a little tin can, that is. Looking forward to that, and like I said, with a view. <laughs> Come on, the car. Well, the hanky panky definitely did not disappoint. Unbelievable. Wow. Right, it looks absolutely beautiful out there at the moment. T's just fin finished spawning on our middle rod. Just the top up there of five. We've just been watching the water to be honest after the food and not really too much to report. <laughs> Hence why I haven't sort of done much video. What is it, half four now? Yeah, it's time. Half four, coming up to five. So we're coming in for that evening period. Like I said, it's looking absolutely beautiful out there, but Fingers crossed, just fingers crossed. I really do hope we get something tonight because I ain't having another blank. I get it's been a hard winter, but Christ, we need to catch something. We really do. Look at this. It's pike. Mate, that's unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the shadows, there's three of them, four of them. All sat next to each other. <gasps> wow, I've never seen that before. How crazy is that? Wow. 
so my plan of action was so I don't want to put any more bait in but I was thinking of squeezing a bit of liquid food over the top of it which is the sauce here it's um, basically a really fishy thick liquid and it stimulates the carp no end but what I'm going to do is over my hook bait I'm literally going to squirt this in hoping that there's nothing over there feeding because I don't want to scare it off but that's exactly what I'm going to do now I'll try and get a bit of video but I'm not promising anything right well I can't zoom in too much but just in the shadow there of where the stump's coming out you can maybe just work out my hook bait there's a tiny little red bit but what I'm going to do is now I'm going to squirt this directly decides to focus over the top of the sauce wow 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 I think that's pike spawning that's unbelievable I haven't seen it it's the first time I've witnessed it really and it's really is something lovely to watch and just let them get on with their thing the pike right let's give this a go Out there, but what you're not seeing is underneath that a load of that is falling straight to the bottom and it's covering that hook bait absolutely lovely now. That's clouding up lovely. And all over the top of it. And obviously from a zig point of view as well, if you're a zig angler and you like zig fishing, it's something I use over the top of my zigs alongside the OG fruit and nut one it's absolutely banging as well. Lovely cloud. And um, a zig mix is something that we've got coming this 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 summer. But again, stay tuned. Right, I'm going to head back now. That's enough, I think. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh my god! I'm saying now. And two carp have just swum right in front of me. I reckon they've smelt it, and I'm talking just in front of me, I could just about make one out, but one of them was an absolute tank with scales all up the side of it. Oh my God, that's got me going. <sighs> Look at this, wow, 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 wow. I might just sit here a little bit longer. Wow, 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 wow. Well, let me explain what actually happened there. So, I'm there, like I said, I've squirted the sauce in. I've done one big squirt of it, like you saw in the video no word of a lie two three minutes on this little well i said smaller commons come over to sort of investigate and see what's going on and then with that this wow this mirror comes over and it's got like these flank had lovely scales up the side of it oh my god you know and that was like it was like sort of mid mid 20 late 20 sort of come in went out it's almost like almost like it smelt it and then sort of come through and then went off just to see what it was so that's brilliant and very reassuring it's the first couple i've seen since i've been here in today anyway so fingers crossed something happens and something's just showed in there right now so that's a good sign happy days wow good morning and another massive jump in the video what are you thinking christ you didn't even say good night i don't think i did but I've won over and my left hand rod's been done so I've just redone that which I'm nightmared about and not even a beep on these we had one single beep on this rod um, left rod last night it's been diabolical guys you know I don't know what's going on this winter on air with me well, especially at the linear complex I have been struggling normally this is the go-to guaranteed a bite and this swim is normally guaranteed a bite as well of what I'm spoke to about sort of the, the locals and that it's just a nightmare absolute nightmare but but one positive thing I think I'm gonna stay on because T's actually packing up today and goes he's got work tomorrow now I've got the flexibility to stay another night so I'm gonna keep you posted on that I'm still thinking of what to do but I think I might stay another night because I don't want it to beat me <laughs> I'm gonna try and nick a fish because it's embarrassing <laughs> It out there it looks mega doesn't it i know i say this every time but it looks really nice as well it looks good for a bite the only thing i will twist and change today is zigs i've got to play with zigs which is saying i've neglected so i've probably been enjoying the social too much with tea um but definitely 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 need to think about that today so that's the plan 
So Garibaldi's for breakfast. The Jerry Springer show there. Rod's out there. What I've done is that right hand rod topped up with like a sloshy mix, basically. The sauce and magic dust mixed together and the new flat spot product. Mixed it all together. Put out on the spot 14 wraps and that right hand rod, I've just put a 10 foot zig out there, which is what the gentleman was catching on yesterday. So, fingers crossed, and the time to play about with the zigs and enjoy the Garibaldi's. Lovely jubbly. Well, that's T-Bone packing up now. Just moved my right hand rod over to over there. You can almost see the foam on top. <laughs> Just went round there, and I'm, if I'm honest, I've seen a few fish as well, so that's put a little bit of confidence in me. But if I turn you around, I've set up my little bivy over there now, the little one, the marquee's gone. But um, yeah, shame T's not sending it other night. But needs must, is what it is. But come on the carp. I ain't letting this one beat me, I'm having a fish. Come on. <laughs> hey, wow, well, it's just me on my Todd now. I've just put, so obviously T's brung his rods in now, he's gone. My left hand rod, where his rod was, I've just put a zig out over there. A little sort of four foot zig. So see if that does anything, because when I went over there, they're sort of sitting in that higher level of the water, more so than on the bottom. There's the odd fish on the bottom, hence why I've got one on the bottom, one on the top, but, and then sort of play about from there and see what the fish tell me to do, and then work off the back of that. I've just topped up with two spoms on my right hand roll, which is a 10 foot zig. I'm still going to keep on top of that because I know it's fishing out there because I saw it and it just absolutely clipped out, went out lovely and the foam went in and dropped behind um, when you're fishing zigs. Fish, when you're fishing long zigs as well, you sort of see it then it sort of flips out the back and then a couple of seconds later you see your foam then go down under the water. So like I said, I know I'm fishing on that right hand rod and I'm confident in that right hand rod. I just need to fish to move over the spot. but. There it is, a little bit more confident now. I've seen fish in the bay, and I've got two rods in there now. Now, obviously, tea's gone, so. Eee, coffee time. Tea left me one, so I'm gonna bang that now. Still no fish. But I'm confident. on now because the lovely chaff so that's actually lent me and he's going to be jumping in my swim tomorrow but as you saw just there I just cast and it just went absolutely beautiful um, lovely crack I'm on that hard spot over there um, another bag because 100% but I know them two rods are hand placed the other one so I know that's 100% going into t tonight it's quite funny really because I'm on, a, I'm on the bank on a Sunday which I don't normally do to be brutally honest with you it's normally live for the Parker Brothers video that's always drops at 7 30 so you guys watching this now this will be in a few weeks time it's like i said it's just not something i normally do to be honest but like i said look at this look at this behind me absolutely mega i don't know if the shade suit me 100 percent but <laughs> i appreciate it anyway at least i can see i take that that's one major thing i was an absolute idiot i didn't bring my shades with me um when i say shades polaroids and in a scenario like this, it's a hundred, you just need them because it just kills your fishing. But like I said, I've got some. So yeah. I'm going to sit back now, watch the water. I physically can't do much more. That right hand rod now I'm going to play about. I've got it on a zig. I'm playing about a depth of the day. I'm about six foot now out there, and I've just topped up a bit of bait. But I can drop that this evening. It's only a small chuck, it's only about 14 and a half wraps, so it's not, not a hard chuck. I can always line up the tree line and punch that later on this evening if needs be after the video drops. Which is 7 30 and yeah that is the update for now guys sorry this one's not been an action-packed full carpy madness but i just don't know what's going on i really don't mean t the last sort of few with well, last month really last sort of couple of months this winter like i said and i'll say it again it has been absolutely terrible and probably the worst i've had in the last 10 years to be honest with you so there it is and i'll um catch up with you in a little bit you have to forgive me, I'd normally have the camera on me, but um, I haven't got my tripod stand thing. So anyway, spicy rice in there. I'm just going to warm that through. Spicy rice, this is lovely. 
and I've got these again so my dinner's been like two quid chicken bites I know it's basic bill but it does the job um, I just smashed one of these as well they won't reduce this week turkey bites or whatever turkey breast bites look how small they are but a bit of protein in them so I just smashed, smashed a bag I'll probably save them for lunch tomorrow I've also got some chorizo in as well so I could have that for lunch and the two other rices we're going to go in with the meatballs and I've also got some hot sauce around somewhere so I'm going to find that and I'll probably put some of that on as well but I'll keep you posted that's how we're looking at the moment Frank's hot sauce, my go-to Ooh, sugar still well there it is tastes absolutely unbelievable so I had some already, nice and spicy that will definitely warm the cockles nice for you as I said, the last couple of nights, all I need now is a run. The target is to get a fish on the bank before I've got to leave, and I'm going to do everything I can in my power over the duration of the next 24 hours to do that. So, meatball time. Lovely. Look at that sun, mate. Oh, lovely. I'm glad I kept I'm literally, I'm leaving that zig on until the sun goes. I'll probably recast when it's dark, but it's lovely. It's a lovely, warm sun as well absolutely stuffed from the food. I had to throw a little bit away to be honest. <sighs> Come on the car piece. So it's just coming up to six o'clock now and that sun's just dipped behind the trees over the back there. Again no fish. I'm just sat on my hands over here just watching the water. I haven't really seen too much to be honest. Nothing really to report. There's one guy over in front of me. I think he's um, day fishing so he's probably going to be going in the next couple of hours. Right, coffee there going in the background. That's what we've got coming in tonight, so it's alright at the moment. As soon as we start going into early hours it drops. Two, which will be the coldest night, it's been double figures the last two nights, so this will be even colder, but the pressure's pretty good. The south wind coming in video is about to start in 20-25 minutes so I'm ready for that and also I had a beep on that right hand rod probably about 20 minutes ago so oh and it was on a zig wasn't it and what I'd done is because I had a beep on it and what I'd done is I saw a lot of bubbles coming up over there so what I thought was oh, I'm going to put one on the bottom so I did so I brought it back in wrapped it up fought in half on a bottom bait little OG fruit in that wafter the yellow topper and some fake maggots and then I flicked that out and it went out lovely but now to enjoy the coffee look at that proper carpy mate <laughs> well I was just watching the video there and sort of just coming to the end of it 181 I think the biggest number was in the end live viewers which was absolutely br brilliant and anybody that's watching this that was watching then I appreciate it massively but anyway left hand rod Beep, 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 comes out, looks at the tip, the tip's sort of pulling round, sort of fit into it. Really, really weird. There was something there to begin with. And then the next thing you know, I've pulled a bloody twig in. So, anyway, got the rod, brung it in, made sure the hook was sharp, etc. Made a bag up, put it on, put a bit of foam on the hook as well. First chuck, flopped it, mate. Absolutely flopped it. Anyway, second chuck, Hit clip absolutely beautiful over the back there. I don't even know if I can show you. Oh, there you go, there's like a tree. See where the V is? Just to the left of that, and it was like 14 wraps, and you got to like put your tip forward, and it's about a foot off the bank. And then you pull about three foot back off that, four, I would say about five foot actually, by the time you've got the donk and it's all set. But there's actually a gravel bar that far off, and that is where I've just hit because I've got a lovely crack second cast beautiful so anyway time for bed i think so i'm absolutely knackered but that left hand rod is on the money so fingers crossed right hand rod's on the money dropped it with t earlier before we went by hand with the pole so i know that's a banger right hand rod obviously i was fishing a zig on it but obviously i've moved on to a bottom bait and i have had a couple of beeps on that one as well so 
most action I've had since I've been here in the last 48 hours, so fingers crossed, look at this. <laughs> Time to get in there, have a bit of a tidy up, get some sleep, and hopefully I get woken up by a fish. Well, it's all been a bit manic this morning, to be honest with you. Um, nothing through the night, absolutely dismal. But, I've started seeing the fish and they're over the back, right over the back of the spot. So I've punched my rods back out on the 18 wraps rod, where me and T put some bait on the original first day where I saw a fish show. Them two rods were on the money and I'm even moving my right hand rod back on to the 14 because they're just off the back. They've only got to pull this way a little bit and they're on my bait. Um, if they keep showing off the back, I'm going to punch rods right over the back if I need to. Um, but really, really good, really, really happy because it's the first proper, proper shows. You know, I'm talking like four or five shows now I've seen over the back there. So come on, the fish are definitely over there and they're in the zone. Still blooming nothing. Left hand rod I've just redone. I've got a 10 foot zig on that. I don't know if I said to you about this one, that's got a zig on it now. And I've resorted back to my right hand rod back on the original spot just so I've got something covered on there. The wind's sort of chopping towards me now when the, there's two people setting up. Boom, boom. So hopefully that pushes the fish my way because as I said, they're over that way. They're definitely over that way. There's no denying that. I've seen them numerous times now. So hopefully when they start putting rods in, it'll start pushing them my way. And then traps are set. <sighs> Come on, the carp. Twitchy stuff, this. <laughs> Time's ticking, Ben. Wow, well, a slow pack down. I'm absolutely gutted, mate. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing anything wrong, but very frustrating, very frustrating when you've got fish out in front of you and you're doing everything in your power to catch them and it's not happening. But, I guess we stay positive. We've got an hour or so left, a couple of hours if that. There's always time for a bite. It would be nice to nick one before I go and make the session now. It really would, just one. But, yeah, very, 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 very hard showing. Go, hard showing? Hard, yeah, hard showing, hard going. <laughs> they were showing behind here this, this morning. Now they've moved behind the back of the island, that same pack of fish I reckon. They started putting rods out and they've moved. They're not silly, they're really not. Oh no, the tent's down. Not looking good, not looking good. Right then guys, that is me done. My session here on Oxley is a very, very, very frustrating one and probably one of the most frustrating sessions I've had in a very, very long time. Fish in front of me and not being able to catch them. Say no more, say no more. As a gentleman already um, behind me, bivvied up, ready to jump straight in. No doubt I'll jump straight in and have a few. <laughs> but now there it is, guys. And like I said, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And we're nearly at that 10,000 10, subscribers now, guys. So and given that, given this, um, like I said, just given this, video a thumbs up massively helps me and my brother so until next time i see you same time next sunday 7 30 peace out all the best